Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about page replacement algorithm. Means, what are the different types of page replacement algorithm and why it is required. In our previous video, we have already seen paging. What is paging and why paging is required. So, we have already seen that in paging, the entire page is to be loaded into the one of the frame in the memory. So, that entire page is swept into the memory. So, sometimes it may be possible that each and every frame is filled by some pages. And in such case, it may be required to load a new page into the frame, but we haven't any empty frame. So, in such cases, what we have to do, we have to swap out one of the page from that memory to hard disk and that new page is to be loaded into the frame. But here the question will arise that which page is to be selected for the swept out. In such cases, this page replacement algorithm will come in picture. So let us start with the different algorithms of page replacement. We have following different types of page replacement algorithm. First one is optimal page replacement algorithm. Second one is FIFO that is first in first out page replacement algorithm. Third one is the second chance page replacement algorithm. Fourth one is the clock page replacement algorithm. Fifth one is LRU that is least recently used page replacement algorithm. And last one is NRU that is not recently used page replacement algorithm. Now we will see each and every algorithm in detail one by one. So let us start with the first algorithm that is optimal page replacement algorithm. Here when a page fault will occur some set of pages or we can say some pages will be there in the memory and some of the pages are there in hard disk itself. So one of these pages will be referenced on very next instruction whereas some of the pages may not be referenced until 10 100 or we can say 1000 instructions and each page can be labeled with the number of instructions that will be executed before the page is first reference means here each and every page is labeled with a number the number is nothing but the number of instructions that will be executed before that page is first reference and the optimal page algorithm simply says that the page with the highest level should be removed. But the problem with this algorithm is that it is unrealizable means at the time of page fault, the operating system has no way of knowing when each of the page will be referenced next. Means here operating system will not, here the operating system is not able to know in advance that when each of the page will be referenced next. So this algorithm is unrealizable means we cannot implement this algorithm. Second one is FIFO page replacement algorithm. The first in first out page replacement algorithm is the simplest page replacement algorithm. We have already seen FIFO that is first in first out in data structure. The operating system maintains a list of all the pages currently in the memory with the most recently arrived page at the tail and the least recently arrived page at the head thread. And on the page fault means when a new page will arrive at that time, the page at the head is removed and the new page is to be added at the tail side. When a page replacement is required, the oldest page in the memory need to be replaced. The performance of FIFO algorithm is not always good. Why? Because it may be possible that the page which is the oldest is the frequently referred by the operating system. So in such cases, removing the oldest page may create a page fault again. Now let us see the example of first in first out page replacement algorithm. Here the page reference strings are like the 7, 0, 1 means 7th page, then after 0 page, then after 1st page, then after 2nd page up to here. And we have three frames in our, in our memory. So at a particular time, we can load only three pages in our memory. If the fourth page will arrive at that time, we have to remove one of the page. So 
here we have to decide which page is to be swept out from the memory now here these are the page requests in the same sequence that is from c1 then up to 0 then up to 1 then up to 2 then up to 0 up to here these are the three frames in our memory each page is to be loaded into the frame once the frame is filled means once all the three frames are filled by three pages and whenever the fourth page will arrive at that time we have to remove one of the page from one of the frame now let us start from here first initially all the frames are empty so first page will arrive the d7 so that is placed in first frame that is in seven so here these two frame are still free then after next comes zero page the d is placed on second frame again one frame is frame here f stands for fault or we can say page fault if a page fault will occur means if a new page is to be loaded into the frame then we can say that that is a page fault so here we have mentioned as a f then after third page that is first page or page number one here we have already one frame that is free so this page is to be placed on third one now all the three frames are filled there isn't any empty frame now next the whenever the fourth page that is the page number two will arrive at that time the page that is the oldest is to be removed from the frame so if we consider these three pages seven zero and one then this seven is the oldest page that is the first in so this space is to be removed from the frame one and this page number two is placed over here in frame one again next comes zero so zero is already here so here no page fault then comes three if we consider out of these three page two zero and one then this one is the oldest page so we have to remove this space zero and place this page number three in the frame number two again page full take occur so we have labeled as f then after next again comes zero page number zero so out of these three page this one is the oldest page so we have to remove this page or page number one and place this page number zero at the place of page number one that is in frame number three so in such way all these pages are placed and if the page fault occur then we will mention or we will label it as a f if we count this f means how many page folds are occurred then these are nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so in first in first out 15 times page fold will occur so in this way first in first out page replacement algorithm will works the oldest page will be removed whenever new page will arrive thank you very much